I like to be surrounded by reminders in my life that I have a lot of love around me and having a friend's art in my space is so inspiring because it reminds me that they're there even when they're not here physically. I spend most of my time here. I think having a space that keeps you inspired and doesn't um, make you feel stagnant is really good. As I grow fonder of you, I realize that love is a fast I've always written poetry with music in mind. I think that lyrics were the number one love in my life for a really long time. If the lyrics are not heartfelt or, or very thoughtful, it's hard for me to connect to certain things. When someone is telling a story or digging very deep into their internal workings, I can kind of tell and it really makes me happy and it makes me listen and it makes me kind of inspired to create. It all comes back to connection and it comes back to listening to someone bear their soul and their experience and thinking, wait, I totally felt that before and I've never been able to put it into words or this melody is so haunting or so happy but the lyrics are so sad and and it's like this is life you know like music is so fun in that way because you can like really just touch on the diversity of life's experience Tying my hair on my head the sunlight trips over my legs like a warm hearted friend oh this was something that was running through my head a lot uh, the last couple of months. As I grow fonder of you, I realize that love is a vast happening. I meet some people in life that are so, that become so important to me so quickly. Um, it's like this weird tether that, you know, it just feels so natural with them. And then I kind of connected it back to me uh, as I grow fonder of me. I know what I need, and I finally see the truth in your eyes. Everyone wants you when you're next to someone great. Everyone needs you when you got a lot to say. But nobody wants Pick up the pieces of your heart when you're afraid. No, no. The thing that I do most when I'm when I'm free writing or when I'm writing poetry is I I try to use certain words that really feed me. Or once I have a good amount of words that I want to throw into my writing soup, I can take those words and turn the page and kind of start really thinking about the story and, and what I want to portray. So meditating on the guitar, meditating on the words in my head, meditating on the melody and the way that I want to sing it and the way that I want the words to sound as they match with the guitar and the, and the melody of the guitar. So it's kind of like very free and really instinctual. Lately, if you'll ever be around, you tell me you'll change, but darling, it's strange because I still don't hear a sound. I needed you then, but I don't think I need you now, no, no. So this song is about bad friends. <laughs> um, it's about people who always tell you they love you but don't really show it. Just people are down to chill with you when you're doing bigger things and when you have a lot going on and you really have a lot to catch up on, but nobody really 
checks in on you in your in your darker moments or when your heart is feeling a little down. I found myself being that person as well. So this song isn't just about me being a victim. <laughs> it's about uh, just the give and take of friendship and how important it is to um, show your love instead of just saying it. I will slowly let you go. No, no, no. Everyone wants you when you're next to someone great. I'm writing a song because I listen to a song. I'm expressing myself because I listen to someone else do it. And that like cycle of connection is kind of what really draws me into music. And I think that whenever I play a show or whenever I go to a show, it's really the same thing. It's like I long to feel connected to the artist on stage. I long to feel connected to their music. And I long for the humans in front of me when I'm singing to feel connected to my experience because we really don't have a lot of differences at the end of the day. We all have a lot of the same hardships and emotions and things that we go through on different levels. And music is so fun and subjective where you can like take a song that might be about something completely different and make it your own. That to me is intimacy, is like knowing that, you know, there could be 10 people in the room, there could be 500 people in the room and each one of them has a different experience with the song that you've written and the song that you're giving them right now. Every day I find a new way to run. Tethered to the time, patient for joy to come. The song is about my partner and I. We've been together for seven years and we've really built something special and I just really wanted to kind of showcase that in this song. He really takes me as I am and I really appreciate that about him. It feels a lot of the time like time is moving so fast and we haven't really felt the joy we want to feel yet with our, you know, whatever it is, our writing, our careers, our relationships, um, but we have that wonderful trait that artists have which is patience and patience for joy and taking joy as it comes. Um, even if it's a small, a small victory, you take it and you feel really good about it. So, and that feels really good to live life and have your independence and have that love for someone. And then at the end of the day, no matter what's going on, you feel the safety of someone you trust and someone who supports you. So I think we make each other better people. And that's what this song is about. So. <laughs> Bushy. You'll lay me down. I am safe. It feels even better when someone kind of can open up to you after you've opened up to them and tell you how your music affected them. I've had a lot of people come up to me and I find this really funny because a lot of my music I write with tears involved and a lot of people come up to me and say that they feel really rejuvenated after being able to cry and let things out. When you're writing something and you're going through something, whether it's beautiful or horrible, um, those two things don't matter, I'll cry anyway. But um, it's reached you the way that it was created. That's what I want to portray is just that organic feeling, that base feeling that it started with. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to Pleasantville, New York, for a house show, which I'm really excited about. And uh, we'll play some music. Yeah, I mean, a massive show has its own, own feelings involved with it of, you know, achievement and success, but there's, I, I never underestimate the importance of a small space and the energy transferred in that way. I mean, when people are there and with you and supporting you and giving you space to do what you do, and it's people you kind of know and it's people that are supporting you from your own community, it's like a really, really special feeling. The skeletons, the heartache, the freedom and the 
Oh, no, no. 